So is the ketogenic diet now causing brain tumors? Now, recently there was a study done on the ketogenic diet um, increasing tumor growth, specifically the growth of glioblastoma, which is a specific type of aggressive tumor that grows in the brain. And I want to discuss the study. So I reached out to Professor Thomas Seafried to get his opinion on it. And I copied his response in the description below, the entire thing, so you can check it out. This uh, abstract or data about this study was presented before the peer review. Okay, so that's point number one. So it really wasn't reviewed before it was published. And if you don't know anything about Thomas Seafried, um, he is a professor, been researching cancer for decades at Boston College, and he is author of this book, Cancer as a Metabolic Disease, an amazing, amazing book. The research that he is doing using the ketogenic diet with fasting is amazing, and uh, it'll blow you away. Um, I put some links down below so you can get more data on that. So the success rate on different types of cancer, uh, including glioblastoma, is remarkable. But what I want to talk about is basically the most important factor. It's the type of mice that they use in this study. It was a U87-MG xenograft mouse, okay? Specifically, NODSCID. What does this stand for? Non-obese, diabetic, severely compromised, immunodeficiency mice. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So in other words, they chose a type of mouse that has no relevance to either normal humans or normal mice at all. What's really important to mention is not only do these mice have compensated innate and or adapted immune systems, okay? There's two parts of the immune system that we have, innate and the adapted. Well, they had weaknesses within both parts, okay? But they also express characteristics of type one and type two diabetes. And then he also mentioned that these findings are inconsistent with other studies that show opposing data. So I highly recommend that you read the entire correspondence because the news will take this and blast it out there and distort it. And people won't ever understand the study. They won't read the study. They don't know it's on types of mice that have nothing to do with our human bodies, okay? They don't know the research of Professor Seafried. What they're gonna look at is this, and that's gonna discourage them from doing the exact diet that is gonna help them avoid cancer or tumors in the future. And I also put a link down below of an interview that I did with Professor Seafried. When he gets into the actual cause of cancer itself, and it has to do with the mitochondria, the respiration, or the normal machinery that burns fuel is altered to a completely different mechanism because cancer cells ferment glucose. They also ferment glutamine, but mainly glucose. And they do this anaerobically or without oxygen. So when the mitochondria get damaged, the cell to survive flips to a different type of machinery that can burn a different type of fuel, and that happens to be the mechanism for cancer, which he talks about extensively in this book right here. And you'll see it also in the video. So it just makes logical sense. Oh, it's running on glucose. So let's go low carb, right? Um, and there's also a factor about glutamine that he'll, he'll talk about as well, which is a type of amino acid. And that is why you'd wanna do low carb keto with intermittent fasting. So we can then have the combination of lowering the glucose and that specific type of amino acid. So anyway, I wanted to point this out. You do not have to worry about the ketogenic diet causing brain tumors unless you are a non-obese, diabetic, severely compromised, immunodeficiency mouse. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.